Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Last week on our channel, we talked about typography design inside of Adobe After Effects. So I figured let's do it inside of Adobe Premiere. Now, Premiere is a lot different than After Effects in the sense that you don't have as many animation properties as you do in After Effects. Now, I don't suggest doing this inside of Adobe Premiere if you know how to use After Effects. But for those of you who might not like After Effects as much or maybe you're looking to save some time instead of open up After Effects. So in this Premiere tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can do great typography design with some cool animation. Let's get started now. So as you can see, I already have my text in here, but to quickly create text, go up to File, New, and click on Legacy Title. Now this is with the uh, newest edition of Adobe Premiere, so if you haven't updated Premiere, it'll probably just be new title somewhere. Uh, just go ahead and Google it if you can't find it, but come here, we'll say OK. And the first thing you need to do is you need to type out your text. I'll just come down here and just type out some quick text. It doesn't really matter for me because I'm just going to go with what, what I already have. But the goal is here is you want to make sure that each word is by itself. So just do one word. Now, I'm not going to get so much into the graphic design of all this, but you know, just definitely take a look at how you want to lay it out. And then when you're done, click X on it. Go ahead and bring it inside Premiere. And then go ahead and type out your second word and go ahead and match it up. So I talk about graphic design a lot in these tutorials, but to recap, we have contrast between the main title and subtitle. As, as you can see, we have each word broken up into its own layer here. And you can see that I did a little bit of color offset here. So we have like a nice pinkish word here. So it's going to add a little bit more contrast as well. And what you're going to have to do with each word being laid out, you're going to have to click on the layer here and play with the position properties just to kind of get that back into order where it needs to be. And you click this wrench icon right here you can bring up the safe margins. So you can kind of see where everything's at. And, and so you can see the perspective of the program monitor. So after you have everything laid out and you're happy with your design, now it's time to start animating it, which you're very limited to do that. As you can see, we don't have any tracking animations here in Premiere. We don't have anything to individually animate the letters like we do in After Effects. So we're gonna do some nice position animations with shape layers. So first things first, let's get the position animations out of the way right off the start. So first thing I wanna do is grab my title one, which is here minimum, and we'll add a keyframe for position. And we'll bring this keyframe forward in time to maybe two seconds. And we'll hit the X position to come out all the way over to design. And then we'll click on the word design, add a keyframe for position again, bring that keyframe forward to two seconds. And we'll bring this word all the way over to the left. So now you're going to get something a little bit weird like this, but don't worry, this is exactly where we need it to be. And let's go do this. So grab title one, right click it and click on nest. And we can call this one title one, click OK. Click on title two, right click it and click on nest. And we can call this one title two. Okay, now what we want to do is just select title one. We want to grab this rectangle polygon mask here and whoa okay and we'll bring and we'll bring this mask over to between our text like so and we want to cover up minimal so we'll grab these two verses over here and we'll bring these out to cover it up and then of course go to mask feather here on the left and set it to zero and make sure to click on inverted and now the minimal text is gone and now it's being brought on from that side. So what we have to do is just bring these two points over here in a little bit so we can kind of see the entire word. So let's bring it in, do some adjustments as you see fit. And if you have to go back into the original title and just continue to position exit a little bit just so you have that room inside that main comp. And now we have that. So now we gotta do title two real quick. Same thing, we can grab the rectangle tool here and we'll want to cover up our design title. Of course, remember to go to the feather, set that down to zero and click the inverted checkbox. So playing this back real quick. So it looks good. However, the masks are not looking fantastic. We wanna make sure that the masks are between the words right here. To fix this, just grab the vertices and try to move it over between the words. Okay, so we run through this again. That looks really good. So that looks good. All right, looks good. Let's go back into the original titles and let's make the last keyframes, right click them, temporal interpolation and click on Bezier. And this will allow the title to kind of slow down before it stops and do that for the second title as well. And I also brought the keyframes into one second. So it's no longer a two second animation. It's now just a one second 
animation and back in our main comp. So now we have to work with our subtitle and I want to do something with a color mat instead of just doing a basic text animation. Let's go to this new item icon down here at the bottom and let's click on color mat and make sure it's the size of your composition. It actually doesn't really matter, but click OK and grab this eyedropper tool and select the color of your primary color text here. So now I just brought in my color map. So since we're going to create like a nice rectangle, instead of working with the mask tool here, let's click on uniform scale and let's just play with the scale width and height just because it's a little bit easier than working with the mask tools here inside of Premiere. And we'll just want to position this. Make sure this layer is going to be underneath your subtitle. So bring your subtitle layer up. And nice. Now we can kind of see what's going on here and we can continue to size up the scale and height. So maybe we'll do like a height of seven. So, okay. So it looks cool. So there's a few ways we can animate this and I want to do something kind of cool here since this is already a nice contained box. So let's animate the color mat real quick. So maybe we'll start this at maybe a halfway through a second, maybe at a second and we'll add a keyframe for the scale width and position. Move both of these keyframes forward in time since everything is laid out. And we'll may maybe move this over to like two seconds. And we'll set the scale width down to maybe four. And then we'll go to the position X and we'll bring this all the way from the left to the right side of the uh, program monitor here. So we play through this real quick. We kind of have that there. Now I don't exactly want that per se. So let's grab, come here, let's grab the scale width and let's bring the first keyframe in by a touch. So let's play this through one more time. So it says a nice square, comes in, cool. All right, so I'm gonna bring the first keyframe in by a little bit as well. Let's just speed that up, cool. So we have a couple of options here. We can animate the typography text to come in kind of the same way we did with the first two titles, but I wanna do something just a little bit different to show a different technique here. What I wanna do before we wrap this up, grab the last two keyframes, right click it, and make them both Bezier keyframes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click the color mat and we're going to nest it. And we call this one color box. It doesn't really matter. Click OK. And now we're going to go to the effects window, click on video effects, and we go to the keying and we're going to grab the track mat key effect or just type it in at the top and apply this effect to your mat box and we're going to the mat layer here, set it to your text layer. In my case, it's video five. Just look at the track down here and click OK. So now the color of the text is going to take the color of the box. Now what you want to do is click on the checkbox reverse. And now you're going to have the hollowed out version of your title. Now we might need to go back into our original subtitle and maybe make this a little bit more bold, if you will, uh, just so it's a little bit more noticeable. So maybe we'll just go straight to bold. And that looks a little bit better. So now you can see that our text just comes on like that. So it's a pretty interesting way to make your text work and make it stand out a little bit more. Now I do want to make a few adjustments here. So we can look at this in fourth quality real fast. And we have some nice initial animation here. Now the title of course is really static and I don't like that. So let's say we want to animate this entire thing. All we have to do here is grab all of our title layers, right click them, nest them again. I know we're doing a lot of nesting in this video. Uh, and we call this one full title and we'll go to the first keyframe here or we'll go to the first frame here we'll add a keyframe for scale and we'll move forward to the last frame which will be like right here and we'll scale this up by a touch and then we'll grab the background or video layer now depending on what you're going to do i want to add just a quick parallax And by animating the background to zoom out, uh, we have this nice parallax effect here in fourth quality. And after a quick render, here is our typography design. So hope you found this video helpful. I do suggest doing this inside of Adobe After Effects, but if After Effects is not your thing, no problem. You can do it here inside of Premiere. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like because it does help me out tremendously and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more Adobe Premiere tutorials. And be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.